Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Friday. Today, Ash Shooting Star number 11, November. It's 11 o'clock, so let's go answer some of your questions. Hey Shooting Star, how do I get my helmet sizing right? I tried different helmets and none seemed to fit me well. All right, so helmet sizing is not an exact science. I've uh, done a few videos in the past uh, where you can find the links in below of how to properly measure your head or determine what size range on different helmets uh, you might be. Keep in mind that uh, helmet sizing will vary from one manufacturer to another and from what one helmet type to another. Uh, motorcycle helmet sizing is totally different than skydiving helmet sizing or skateboarding helmet sizing or baseball helmets or whatnot. So what is uh, the, the best way to determine your size is to measure the circumference of your head. And uh, there's a cool video here where you can find how uh, where you can find how to do that. Measure the circumference of your head and take that measurement and compare that to the sizing chart for the helmet, the specific helmet you're looking to purchase, either full face, open face, camera helmet and all that. And that way you can have an idea of what size range you might be. Most cases, if you're in the top end of a measurement, you want to go a next size up. Uh, why? Because if it's like a full face, uh, you have uh, thick padding with newer helmets like a Kuki G4, Kuki G35, you have thicker padding. So you definitely want a snug fit all around your head, but not too constricting. So you feel like pressure around your cheeks, but not pressure around the temples or uh, your forehead or overall, uh, like you're squitching your head then that fit should be probably so you want um overall snugness but not too tight that is actually uncomfortable and not too loose that it you have the helmet has a lot of play on your head um if not secured properly this can cause your helmet to fly off uh in the event that the yoke of your container hits to the back of your head it will flip the helmet off your head so yeah measure around the circumference of your head and take that number and compare that to the sizing chart for each one of those helmets um, we have the sizing charts on our website when you go into each helmet category and, and flip the, um, the thumbnails on the pictures, you can find the sizing chart there. Uh, but if you have any questions, just let us know. We're more than happy to help you out and determine what, or try to determine what size you might be. But uh, measuring is the best way. You can find links below on how to measure. I leave that video up here where you can um, see how exactly to measure the circumference of your head. Hey Shooting Star, do you recommend a chin strap or a chin cup for camera helmets? So chin strap versus chin cups on camera helmets. When you're mounting any type of camera, as small as a GoPro or uh, let's say the smaller versions of a GoPro like the, uh, the previous models like the Session or the Hero 11 Mini which are smaller compared to the other uh, regular size like the Hero 10, uh, 11 or 12 black uh, versions, Keep in mind that you're always having something else that could cause a uh, snag. Uh, so having a cutaway system on your helmet or a quick release is highly recommended. Cutaways, um, always anything that you're putting on a, on a helmet uh, as a camera, could be small, like I said before, small camera to a large setup, something, you know, if you're doing something with this, you definitely want a cutaway system. You want a chin cup. The chin cup basically provides stability for the whole platform. So if you're running heavy setups, like two cameras side by side, or a DSLR in, in a um, GoPro on the front, like with uh, the two X's or fuel helmets, I definitely recommend having a chin cup that will stabilize the platform a little bit better. Remember that you have usually a bite switch that you're moving your jaw a little bit. That also keeps the helmet stable. Uh, if you have a large setup, you have, remember you have all the weight on top of the helmet. And if you have a chin strap, you might have side to side movements, a lot of vibrations. So the chin cups always will stabilize your camera platform a little bit better. And also you have your cutaway right in front of your face. So it's easier just to rip it apart and you get um, uh, the helmet uh, to fly off your head. So definitely uh, if you're running a larger setup, I would recommend going with the chin cup and a cutaway system. 
if you're running something smaller, let's say a small GoPro going on top of, of you know, top of the helmet on the front, uh, have a cutaway or have a quick release. A quick release basically works this way. You have a ratchet system and you just pull that, helmet flies off if you have a, a, a really serious snag. Um, but uh, a chin strap will suffice. Um, also, let's say with Tom Flies, that um, a, with Tom Flies, they offer a uh, cutaway chin strap. So you have the same system as the chin cup underneath your chin. So you, in the event of a, of a um, you need to jettison the helmet, you just pull the whole thing and it goes. Quick releases are also super, super um, helpful. Like you see here, you just pull that and it comes apart. So always be mindful that when you have something on top of your head, a side of your helmet with a camera, or as small as it, um, it might be, always have a cutaway system or a way to release that camera or the helmet from your head. This is really important that you know this and that you're aware that you have something uh, extra on top of your head. Hey, Shooting Star, are you running any sales currently? This is uh, a question we get a lot uh, during the during the year, but also during end of the year, close to like say Black Friday or the holidays, if we are running any sales. Yes, we are currently running sales, and you can find these on our website when you go up to the top green bar. It says uh, says 2023 uh, 20, sales. You can find all the list of sales that we currently have running. You can also, um, when you subscribe to our newsletter, you'll be advised of all sales going on, uh, promo codes that you can uh, take advantage of, uh, also through our social media, the Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or even our YouTube channels or Vimeo channels. Uh, we're also in Rumble if you have that platform as well. So you can find out everything that we're running if we're promoting a new product or if we have any sales going on. You can also take advantage of uh, when you are ordering online and you uh, your order is over $99, you can uh, opt for free standard shipping. That will save you a lot depending on, on the type of uh, order that you're placing. So the free standard shipping is only well, within the continental US. We ship uh, if, uh, orders in the US to uh, APOs or FPOs addresses as well. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's not uh, available for international shipments. Also, coupon codes. Uh, we uh, usually issue some uh, coupon codes uh, that are available for a limited time uh, through our um, newsletter, emails, the social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, our video channels like uh, like YouTube, uh, Vimeo, or Rumble. Uh, so. To be, uh, you know, to know where are those coming, just subscribe to our newsletter, and I'll leave a uh, link down below where you can find that, and uh, just stay tuned. Also, uh, when you're, let's say, getting a, a full rig package, uh, when you get the, the full package container, canopies, and AED, you get a free shooting star gear bag, and you also get $100 off of, uh, of the price uh, when you get the whole thing together. So that's another way you can save. Hey Shooting Star, do you guys have a newsletter? I would like to stay informed on promotions and latest gear. A lot of people always ask us if we have newsletters or or any way that they can uh, know when we have promotions or new gear coming out. Yes, we do have newsletters. You can subscribe to our newsletter through our website and I'll leave a link down below where you can, it will take you straight to uh, where you can sign up. Or let's say if you get the Parachute Magazine, you have these QR codes, you can just point your camera phone to that QR code and it will take you straight to our um, uh, newsletter. So uh, that way you stay informed of all promotions, sales, uh, or new gear that's coming out or new blog posts that we are, um, that we're always uh, posting on our blog. Uh, also promo codes uh, and, and all that good stuff that we always like. So sign up for the newsletter, the link below. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.